Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 12 public beta two and developer beta three have been out for a while now and I've been using it since developer beta three came out and I think I have a pretty good idea about how this is going. So developer beta three has been pretty stable for me and GPS is definitely working. So if I'm using Apple maps or Google maps, all of those things seem to be working. However, since I was able to install the shortcuts app, Siri does not seem to work with it very well at all. So if I ask it for directions and say something like get directions to the closest Apple store, What you'll see here is it brought up some things and not a whole lot else. So just brought up some wrong directions. So right now that part's not working. However, directions themselves seem to be working just fine. So I'm not sure what's going on with that, but that's just something to note. Now, if you want to get the shortcuts app, you have to be a developer in order to get that. And you have to actually go into the developer portal and request access. Once you're given access, then you can install it using test flight. I did a separate video about what that's all about. Uh, but right now it's not available to everyone. Hopefully it'll be available in a later public beta, but it's, it's okay. It's basically workflow. If you want to try workflow out, you'll be able to use it there. Now CarPlay is working just fine now. So I've been using the podcast app since it's a little bit different than the previous version of the podcast app. When it's on iOS 12, it works fine, but we aren't yet at the point where we see Google Maps and Waze integration because Google and Waze have to update their their app itself in order for it to work in CarPlay. This isn't something Apple has to do. Those app makers have to integrate them into it. So I don't know when we'll see that. When I went over the developer beta 3 and public beta 2 video that explained what was new, there's some activity stickers that are new in messages. Now these stickers are really nice and animated, but it's only available if you actually have an Apple watch or the activity app. And also it's available when you're doing FaceTime and those video effects in the call. So you can use them there as well. It's one thing I forgot to mention or didn't realize it was in both places, not just messages and it's not available to everyone. Now, some people say this phone is locking slower with this update. So if I turn it off, it's, it's maybe a second or a half a second. It's not a big deal. And that could change by the time it's out to the public. So I don't normally cover too many of those little things like that, but it's just something to note. And I have had this slow down a few times for me and had to reboot it a couple times. It got so slow and I don't know if it's a result of shortcuts or anything like that, but it got really slow. In fact, Earlier today, it slowed down to the point where I just had to hard reboot it. I've rebooted it twice since installing this beta. Otherwise, though, it's been really smooth and fast, and battery has been better than the previous beta for me. So if we go into here, we'll go into the battery health beta. You'll see I'm still at 100%. I have some other videos about that if you want to learn more about that. And here is my battery. So my screen on time, while it's not great, even though it says three hours and nine minutes, it has improved since the previous betas, which is, which is about here. There is a day where it didn't, but overall it's a little bit better than what I was having before. So after all of those things for me, many of you responded to my survey, which was on Twitter and the YouTube community page. So let's take a look at that. So on YouTube, I asked how <laughs> I mistyped this, but how has iOS 12 public beta two and developer beta three been for you? And what are you using it on? 47% said great. 9% said terrible. And 44% said, okay, but some bugs we expect bugs. So that's not too bad, but you'll see 127 of you commented. So I really appreciate that. I can't look at all of them, but let's scroll down. We'll scroll to the bottom see a couple of you that commented first, and then we'll take a look at some more. So everyone here is saying it's great. There's a horrible bug when screen time crashes on iPhone seven. Now, one thing to note, make sure you report all those bugs under feedback. I do keep telling anyone that's asking me questions about this, make sure you report them because Apple does use that information to see how many of the same bugs they get to prioritize those bugs. So it's been pretty good, but still the spring screen once in a while, especially on my iPad using an eight plus at first I was experiencing a lot of dropped frames on my eight plus, but I started and now it's working fine. I love the new automatic notification grouping. That's something that should have been there a long time ago. It's, it's much, much better. In fact, I'd say it's fixed at this point. Now, some people are not getting all of their notifications either. So if you're not 
I'm sure they'll fix it in a future update, but this one seemed to fix that for me. How about I'm switching back to Android. I used iPhone for some time and I realized iOS isn't my thing. However, iOS 12 is in beta and it's kind of to be expected. Okay, but some bugs, the performance seems to do well. It's a lot smoother than iOS 11. It does seem a lot better. Phone screen barely responds to touch and freaks out. Worst beta I've seen. That's interesting. That's probably the only one I've seen comment wise that said that. Uh, I'm, I'm curious what phone you're on. Let's look at two more on here. This is the last time I'll ever do beta. This is terrible. Uh, that's why I never recommend anyone use a beta if, if they can't handle bugs or the phone crashing or being slow or having bad battery life, any of those things. And then let's see here. We have iPhone eight. I can't change my wallpaper. I couldn't adjust the image to set as a wallpaper. A lot of you have been saying this. You can't adjust the size of the wallpaper when you're setting it. So that's it for YouTube here. Now, one thing I have a question for you on is, do you want to see more of the older phones or do you prefer I do iPhone 10 or here's an SE and a 7 Plus? I know a lot of you have asked me to look at review older phones with iOS 12 and I want to know exactly what you mean because all of these bugs kind of apply to all of the different phones. Are you talking about speed and usability? Uh, battery is kind of going to be consistent just across all of them all together anyway. So let me know specifically what you want to see. I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. So on here, 727 of you responded, very similar results. 50% said great, 9% terrible, 41%. Okay. But some bugs, should I just be posting this on Twitter or on, on YouTube? I seem to get more comments on the YouTube side, but just want to know what you think. If you're responding to both, which one do you prefer? So let's see iPhone. Oh, let's see if we've got more. There we go. iPhone 10, 64 gigabytes. Everything seems to be fantastic. Fortnite even still works. I know some people, well, actually Apple recommends that, um, that you don't use it if you're playing Fortnite, trying to open the screen time section in a settings, lets the app crash immediately. Battery life. Mm. Screen time is not showing otherwise smooth. Beta two was good for me last month. Beta three sucks. I don't know if it's a bug. I don't know if it's a bug or a feature, but when you press down the volume button and the power button to shut the phone down after you release it, uh, that's actually the way it's supposed to work. So there's a ton of these different comments here. Most people are saying it's better, but I, I appreciate you sending along all those different bugs because I do look at them. And if I see them to be common, I report them as well and comment on these videos as well. But notifications seems to be hit or miss for some people, but for me, it's okay. There's a problematic with setting custom wallpapers. That's the one I've probably heard the most and lock screen clock and titles disappear. I had that happen at first until I rebooted. So there are a lot of different little bugs, but again, make sure you're reporting them in feedback and I'd love to see how it's going for you. It's going really well for me on the iPhone 10. It's definitely more usable and that's usually the case by beta three. Now I would expect based on the current timeline that we're going to see beta four public beta three on the 16th and probably this week on the ninth or sometime in this week, we'll see 11.4.1 completed. Not exactly sure about that though. Let me know what your thoughts are though, about using these phones in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.